The holiday season's very festive. It always has that gleam and glisten, but does it sparkle? Well, if yours doesn't, you want to go talk to my friend Bobby French. She's the owner of G. Thomas Jewelers in downtown Manhattan off Points Avenue. Bobby, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too, Chris. Yeah, thanks for being a part of the show like you were last year. You guys, it's, it's great to go down Points Avenue in Manhattan and see all the locally owned and operated businesses, and that includes G. Thomas Jewelers, right? It does. Yeah. Tell us about that. How long have you owned it? Tell us a little bit about the store. Oh, I've owned it for 15 years. Wow. Store's been open and operating for 60. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest jewelry store in the same location in Manhattan, Kansas. Wow. Um, and our downtown is just like a holiday movie. It's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful and it is mostly locally owned shops. Yeah. And I you guys it. are full service, right? So you do all of the sales out front, but in back, you've got a couple hard working folks back there making creative and custom jewelry, right? We do. Tell us about that. We've got an elf back there. <laughs> he's been on the bench for over 40 years collectively. Wow. He's a master jeweler and mm -hmm. he's amazing. We kind of hear that gold is going up. It's going down right now. It's in an upward swing, right? It is. And how does that affect your pricing? Fine jewelry mm -hmm. is made of precious metals. Mm -hmm. Precious metals is typically gold or platinum and gold is at a record high this year mm -hmm. and that does affect how much jewelry costs right. even just a plain wedding band mm -hmm. that used to be you know eight or nine hundred dollars is now sixteen hundred dollars and gold's projected to go even higher before the holiday season what we do it doesn't affect our pricing so we've done all of our uh, purchases for christmas all the holiday um, inventory has been in the case since october when gold was roughly 1700 mm -hmm. so now it's already more valuable just sitting there. And real quickly, let's talk about how K-State affects your business. Of course, when the school's doing great, we're all excited because K-State's going to a bowl game, but yes. that has an impact on businesses like yours, doesn't it? It certainly does. Mm -hmm. I mean, K-State's amazing in so many sports this year mm -hmm. and last year, and um, the better they do, the more people want to follow them, the more we want to go to bowl games, things like that, which is amazing, mm -hmm. and we should always support the university. Um, but some people tend to kind of forget about their local businesses that um, survive off the holiday sales. Right, and right. Yeah, so if we could do both, win K-State games and shop, that'd be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> don't do your shopping out of state. Do your shopping, yeah. if you're from Manhattan or Kansas, do your shopping local and then go celebrate with the teams wherever they may go. But remember, try to keep your dollars right here in Kansas, Northeast Kansas, and of course, uh, Manhattan, Kansas. Well, Bobby French, thank you so much for your time. Give us your address and your web address real quick. All right, we're at 419 Points Avenue, downtown Manhattan. We're at uh, www.gthomasjewelers.com. Go see Bobby for the holidays. Yay. Thanks so much. Thank you.